My name is Chris Hackney. I'm the voice of Dimitri Alexander Blathed in Fire Emblem Three Houses, along with many other anime and video game titles. I'm here with Anime Impulse. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, the most challenging part of Three Houses with Dimitri was probably the shift from pre to post time skip. But luckily, like we did it in separate chunks. But then while we were doing the post, and I had to be all growly and and very angry Dimitri. In the middle of all of that was a random scene where I had to be like 10 year old mini Dimitri. That was, that was kind of rough. <laughs> Hi. Mm, who would enjoy sweet tea for tea time? I feel like Bernie, you know, that'd go good with the cake maybe. Uh, Dimitri would probably enjoy it because he doesn't have taste buds and he would just say, sure, it tastes great, yeah. Who else? Felix, Felix needs some sweet tea. Put a smile on that face. Definitely for me the most notable thing when I finally got to it in Three Houses was the identity of the Flame Emperor. Because they didn't tell me at first. We were just kind of going up and it was like, oh, by the way, so-and-so is the Flame Emperor. No spoilers. And it's just as shocking for me as I'm sure it was for everybody else. So that was actually a genuine reaction. <laughs> the most Florida story ever is me driving along with my dad, uh, taking bets on whether people are trying to feed alligators along the side of the road if they're gonna get their fingers bit off or not. It's always a 50-50 shot because people are stupid even when they come to Florida. Uh, I don't know if three houses would be that different if it took place in Florida because we've got our three colleges, FSU, UF, and Miami who are all fighting each other all the time. So it's kind of like three houses every day of the week, except with, you know, pickup trucks with giant tires. How different would Three Houses be if it was wrestling? Um, so clearly Lady Rhea would have to be the Vince McMahon character in all of this. You know, she has to, it's me, it's me. I feel like that's, that's pretty on point. Dimitri would just suplex everybody, F5s everywhere. Claude would definitely be a total jobber. Sorry, Claude. The kick, and Seth Rollins has an opportunity, but he's picked out oh, of the no. air by Brock, and Brock with an F5. My best dad joke. I don't have a great dad joke, but I have my favorite joke that my daughter told to me, which was, knock, knock. Who's there? John. John who? John Cena! <laughs> she even did the hand motion and every... <sighs> That's my kids. What do you expect? So my main instrument, going, having gone to college for music, my main instrument is saxophone. Always my first love, always will be. Played in saxophone quartet, jazz, everything. Uh, I know how to play oboe, clarinet, bassoon, bass clarinet, piano, percussion, a little bit of brass. Uh, did I say piano? I think I said piano. Um, but pretty much everything, because that's what you have to do, is you have to learn how to play everything so you can teach it to other people. Ooh, Dimitri's pump up for battle music. Mm. I think pre-time skip Dimitri would be more of a classical kind of guy, maybe uh, maybe some hosts, some uh, Mars, the bring of war, the planets. Um, post time skip, I feel like he's more of a metal guy. I feel like maybe we've got some Ed Guy, some Avantasia, Matt, uh, Metallica, little Iron Maiden. I think that'd get him ready. Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. Kill every last one of them! What would Dimitri have on his love playlist? Jeez, I, I really don't know. I feel like it would mostly be the Titanic soundtrack. He would just generic, be like, that is a very romantic movie. I think that the ladies would love that. Please, let's listen to that. Who'd I romance? <laughs> Dimitri and Byleth, duh. OTP? That ship is gonna sail forever! Between heroes and villains, I, I empathize more and understand the heroes more, but I love being the villain. You get to play and have so much fun being evil. <laughs> My experience with the Testament of Sister New, New Devil can be summed up as, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. It's very awkward hearing all your friends in your ear when you're recording, making very adult noises. Yeah. 
There were lots of funny moments during Three Houses. Most of them involved me making stupid faces and facial gestures to Patrick, Patrick Seitz. None of which can be shared on camera, I'm sure. I hope I didn't get a testament new double E or something. <laughs> hey, just a little. Chris! Look, I was making people laugh. It was a good time. Anyway. Hobbies, uh, I love video games. I love playing video games. I like getting to be in them. Uh, I love Gunpla. I love putting together Gunpla. Like, it's just so cathartic and relaxing to sit there and quiet, put on my glasses, get out my, my kit, because I've got the snippers, I've got the Gundam pens, and just meticulously putting everything together. It's just so calming. It's amazing. What does voice acting mean to me? Um, it's everything. Like, it's, it's literally what I want to do for the rest of my life. It fills me, it makes me happy. I get to work with amazing people on these amazing projects. And I get to go in and play pretend for a living. That's, that's just, I get to, to express so much. That's just amazing. Like, I hope everybody gets something like that in their life every day, because it's what, it's what I want every day in my life. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry we got to the post time skip here, but if you want to talk to me more about Dimitri, anything else that I'm in, follow me on the social medias here. I'll be able to see you there. Well, half see you there. Thank you. How warm and comforting.